It's your first look inside the home of the suspected San Bernardino terrorists. Inside Editions, Jim Murray and other members of the media were granted access to the killer's home by the landlord. We were there as he had the sheet of plywood that now seals the front entrance pried loose. Got the walls punched out here. The front door's been broken. The patio doors were smashed when the FBI raided the home on the night of the massacre. This place is a complete mess in here. You got broken glass. The house has all the trappings of ordinary family life. Not the den of ruthless terrorists, Saeed Farouk and his wife, Tashfeen Malik. The couple, as you know, had a six-month-old baby daughter. You can see some evidence of that still left behind. In the kitchen, the remains of an unfinished meal, indicating the killers may have left in a hurry. Interesting to note that there are two calendars here on this refrigerator, this magnet and this larger one here. Nothing whatsoever to indicate any planning for the December 2nd attack. In the upstairs bathroom, a treasure trove of family photos. There are passport photos and an album of family photos. What's fascinating about these pictures, they look like ordinary family pictures. In the baby's room, a crib filled with blankets and toys. Among these baby clothes inside the closet is you have these good night stories from the Quran, this Arabic reader. In the parents' bedroom, spread across their bed, personal documents. Social security cards, two copies of the Quran. Jim Murray found a bank statement showing a balance of almost $64,000. Quite a sum for a guy making $51,000 a year as a county health inspector. It appears some of the money was wired into the account via Western Union. The couple's clothing still hangs in the closet. The possessions they left behind when they went on the rampage that shocked America.